Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll, we'll be reviewing Transformers, Titan's Return, Percepta, and he is a microscope transformer. But before we get on to comparisons, we're going to give you a little bio about good old Perceptor here. Well, Perceptor is one of the smartest Autobots in the Generation 1 universe, so he's a genius. He created the... He came up with the substance Corostop to resist Cosmic Ruts, which saved the Autobots in that one episode, so that's what he did. He created ability to shrink microchips so he could uh, repair Autobots with. So technically two genius ideas he, he invented. So yeah, he's a genius. That's Perceptor for you. But now we're gonna do some comparisons with some other Generation 2 bots. Com Power of the Primes, Inferno. Just a redeco of Hotspot. Red Alert. Beachcomber and Sea Spray. We are getting a new Beachcomber with this Transformers Legacy line. I look forward to seeing that. Cosmos and Power Glide for comparison. For now, we're going to get down to transformation into his cannon mode. I'm going to try to do that off camera. We'll have to look that up. Give me a second to look that video up. Or, or can I get this to work? Well, in this mode, I can partially get the cannon mode done. So there's my representation of the cannon mode. But now we're going to transform him into his robot mode. Fold his feet down. This just pops off by itself real easily. So that saves a step, doesn't it? For sure. His legs disconnect the gun I have for him. It's Transformers Titan's Return. Not Titan's Return, but Siege Soundwave's gun. Push this down for Perceptor's head. Rotate this panel on the uh, bar here to the back if I can get it to work because my copy is really tight. Connect his microscope into his back. Push his hands up. Flip out his fingers. His hands and then rotate his arms down. Flip out his feet and his Little microscope piece just popped out again. Really pain in the neck. Maybe it's just going to be easier if I just do it like this. Because this piece just doesn't want to stay put for me. Yeah, that works better. Rotate his head. And you're probably wondering. Yes, he is a Titan Master bot. So his head can come out and reveal... A tiny little robot. It's the thing they do with Titan's Return, but I'm not a huge fan of. The only ones I'm a huge fan of are the Headmaster Autobots and Decepticons. So, it's not bad or terrible, but this is the, the best looking Perceptor I've ever gotten to own in my collection. And I never had him in my Generation 1 collection. It feels great to have this genius Autobot finally in my collection. And to show off all his details, we're going to flick on the flashlight on the phone. And man, does he look good, man. The paint and the sculpting on this guy is really good. And this is a throwback to Transformers Titan's Return. And I'm so glad to finally have an actual Perceptor for my Generation 2 shelf, even knowing this is an old Titan's Return figure. 
But just for comparison, because this is a Titans Return figure, here he is next to Titans Return Scourge. Why not? The only other headmaster I own, besides Brainstorm and Hardhead. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is a good-looking figure. If you're looking for a Perceptor for cheap, this guy is real cheap on eBay, and I'm so glad I finally got this for my collection. But now we're going to do some other Generation 1 comparisons with Perceptor, because that's the point of this video, is to get as many comparisons as possible. And yeah, I'm pretty good with comparisons. Here we got Inferno next to Power of the Primes Inferno next to good old Perceptor. Why not? Here I say why not. And he is a little bit bigger than Perceptor because that's what he is. He's bigger. Finally, we're going to do good old Red Alert next to Perceptor. But you got to transform these guys off camera. I put them all in the vehicle mode except for for tracks and, you know, hoist. Because I had our trouble putting them back in their vehicle modes. And I'm not going to bother breaking my figures. And I dropped his gun. Oh, man, I gotta pay attention when I drop guns. But here is Siege Red Alert next to Perceptor, another old school bot. And then we're going to do a group shot before we end this video of all the Generation 2 bots I own as of this year. Power Glide next to Perceptor because he's Power Glide. And I just love it when he says that. And here we got Cosmos next to Perceptor. Sorry it took some time, but I had to transform him back into his robot mode. And now Sea Spray. Sorry, he's Mr. Bubble Mouth. Sea Spray has always been Mr. Bubble Mouth in the Generation 1. You know, if any of you G1 fans ever watched that episode where Perceptor, where, uh, not Perceptor, but Sea Spray gets a mermaid girlfriend. Yeah, he technically gets that, and Power Glide gets a sweetheart as well. So here we got Sea Spray next to Perceptor. Now, last but not least, is Beachcomber, Warpath, Hoist, and Tracks. Here we got the Power of the Prime's Beachcomber next to Titan's Return. Perceptor. Hoist next to Perceptor because they're both Autobot geniuses. And Tracks. Why not? My original universe Tracks. I really want to locate, I really want to get the uh, Kingdom's Tracks. But before we end this video, we're going to do a group shot of comparisons with all the bots we own so far in Generation 2. And I'm going to have to get a group shot. Perceptor. Hoist. Tracks.
tracks. Sea spray. Red alert. Oh, and last but not least, Warpath. Because I got the best looking Warpath from Kingdoms. Why not? Warpath. Beachcomber. Power Glide. Not Power Glide, but, but Cosmos. Because he's Cosmos. And Power Glide, finally. But this is our Generation 2 collection as of 2023. I have almost got a whole collection of Generation 2 bots. I'm still missing a few in this collection. The bots I need to complete this collection is Grapple, The Better Looking Tracks, Smokescreen, The Better Looking Inferno, and Omega Supreme and Defensor. I already got Superion, but yeah, quite a few bots I'm missing. But I will try to track them down to complete my Generation 2 collection. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.